found nothing today. Well, I'd better rest. Tomorrow we'll see. Uh, hey, a glass of milk. Probably an eater. Under arrest! Send an ambulance now to Villa Amarilla. On your knees. Hands behind your head. right before the police got in. Was it the woman in black? Is she responsible for everything? If yes, who does she work for? This cannot be happening to me. In trouble again. Ah, uh, that's life. Well, Pegasus will be furious with me now. The media must not find it out. And my head hurts, I feel dizzy. What did they give me? Thanos, you came at last. I can't decide. Are you a scumbag, a victim, or just an idiot? I don't understand. What's now? What's this? You don't understand? What exactly? That you are a suspect for attempted murder? That the police found Anita with her head bleeding, and you holding the object that hit her right next to you on the floor? Why did you do it, Nick? Why? Attempted murder? No. Uh, me? To Anita? For God's sake, Thanos, tell me she's not dead! It looked that way. Her pulse was very weak when the ambulance took her away. The blow was strong, she couldn't regain consciousness. Her cardiac functions were stabilized, but the doctors say that she is in critical condition, Nick. Nick, right now as we speak, Anita is lying in a coma. Thanos, I did nothing. I can't believe you think that I hit her. Nick, cut it out. There are witnesses. Witnesses? Who? What do they say? Well, first of all, there's Anita's maid, Sophie Lancy. She was also injured. She testified that you were arguing, and that at a certain point you threatened Anita that you'd kill her. A fact that the butler has verified. Thanos, I don't deny it. I have said this, but she made me furious. She kept calling me irresponsible and dishonest, but I didn't mean it. Haven't you ever said anything crazy when you're mad? Don't you know that I love her? You'd better not mention that. It could be used against you. What do you mean? Do the words crimes of passion ring a bell? Recently, the gossip magazines were full of stories about Anita's love affair with Renault Chapman, a young actor. Two days ago, you go to Anita's house, drunk. You have a big fight about these stories, and everybody hears. Who knows what happened next night? Maybe she told you that she doesn't love you, and you, angry, hit her with a cup that you found there. What next night? Nothing happened yesterday. I didn't meet Anita. Yeah, right. Tell that to the other guys. Sophie Lanty said she heard you arguing. She is lying. Nothing happened. And yes, Thanos, I hit Anita, and then I went to sleep at her house and waited for the police. Hey, really? Who called the police? Anonymous phone call. No image of the caller. Anonymous phone call? And this isn't suspicious? Thanos, I was framed. Yesterday, I didn't see Anita. All right, Nick. Let's hear your story. Tell me what happened. It is true that we had a fight the first night I went to Anita's. And yes, I was 
a little drunk. But then we calmed down. I told her I was sorry. And Anita told me that she's getting threats from Mira Saidi. And she asked me to help her. Yesterday, nothing happened. I didn't see Anita at all. I drank a glass of milk and I don't remember anything else, Thanos. I found it. It's the milk. Look for the glass of milk that I drank then. It had a strange flavor. I can't remember anything after this. They must have drugged me and then they set up the whole thing. Oh, for Pete's sake, Nick, that's the story that all criminals end up resorting to. They all say they didn't do it. Somebody framed them. Unfortunately, there's no glass of milk anywhere. I am sure there was something in the milk. I can take a blood test. Yes, easily arranged. Was there anything else that seemed strange to you at all? Someone tried to wake me up just before the police arrested me. I heard a woman's voice in my dream shouting, Hey, wake up! Then, as they put me into the police vehicle, opposite the villa, the woman in a black leather jacket was staring at me. You could have imagined it. And the woman there could have just been an innocent bystander. I don't think so. She wasn't just passing by. Something on her made me remember her. My instinct is always correct. That chick looked dangerous. Is that what you're going to say? That a dangerous chick drugged you, hit Anita, set up the crime scene, called the police, and just before they arrived, she yelled in your ear? And she just stood by and watched. With this line of defense, pal, you're going to be locked up for centuries. I haven't said that she did it. I told you what I remember. Why? Does it seem logical that I went to threaten Anita in front of witnesses, then hit her, and afterwards went to sleep next to her, holding the cup with which I hit her? If you're innocent, you'd better hope Anita wakes up. If she doesn't, the accusation won't be attempted murder, but murder. Thanos, if Anita dies, I'll lose my mind. Believe me, I'm innocent. Something is happening here which is greater than me, and my fling with Anita. Nick, I'll be honest with you. I know you well. I know what you did for Anita. Besides, I don't believe that you are dumb enough to operate this way. You've been investigating crime for years. A biology researcher. You could have done it another way. And anyway, where is the motive? Exactly. What would I really gain out of Anita's death? If I had done it, wouldn't I have an alibi? To an outside party, and especially someone who envies your successful career, this entire situation looks like a crime of passion. Do you believe that? It doesn't matter what I believe, but what the facts are. I can't easily get you out of this. Not my jurisdiction, but a matter for the Internal Affairs Department, so you're in Kappa's hands. You know him. Top executive. Sticks to the rules. Goes by the book. Can't talk him out of it. So you're saying you can't help me? You'll let them accuse me of murder? I know people who could help you, but I would never risk our team's reputation to save your ass. Officially, you're hereby suspended. Unofficially, I'll help you, of course. Because, Nick, I too think you've been set up. First of all, I'll assign your defense to that lawyer, Rania Dendrinu, who knows about this kind of thing and owes us a favor. But things are very tough. I must keep my distance. No more open contact between you and me. Besides, if someone did frame you, better to let him believe that he succeeded and that I am now afraid to support you. Must leave now. I'll send you then the renew. What a big mess I'm in. And this Sophie Lancy, such a liar. <sighs> Rania is my lawyer. I don't believe it. That's not necessarily bad. So many drug dealers got away with it. She could help me as well. Oh God, what a mess. I'd really like to know who's trying to frame me. From your lawyer, Dendrinu. I'll take blood for the test. What's that crap now? They haven't accepted the bail? Why do they treat me as if I were the worst criminal? 
So I get no bail. Don't they know I couldn't possibly have done that? A cake. And a drink. She sends breakfast instead of something to cause me amnesia and forget what happened to me. At the very moment, my life was getting better. Now that I became the biggest star of the Secret Services. Now that Anita invited me to stay at her villa. It seems this woman is always bad news. <laughs>